Team Mayfly is up next, aka Five Racha. So, if you don't know who that includes, it includes three Racha, which is Chang Bin, Han, and Bang Chan of Stray Kids, but also we have Hong Jun of ATs and Min Yuk of B2B. Their concept here is anti racism. So I want to see how they go about this. We watched them make the hook in the studio. It was like the first thing they did. So I have a feeling this is going to be nice. I just have a feeling this is going to go hard. I don't know how many verses we have. I mean, we got five people here. So is that five verses? Are the Stray Kids rappers going to like kind of join together for their verse and uh, Hong Jung and Min Yuk, do they have longer verses or something? I don't know. But I do know Stray Kids, they're really good at concepts. So I want to see how they put this performance together along with Hong Jung. Really good ATs, really good with concepts. B2B, you know, the last concept that they had back door, it was murderous. It was great. So I want to see how they put this concept together. Something to do with paint. So, this is called, what is this called? Colors is the name of the song. So, let's see how they pull this off, man. We'll be looking up the lyrics afterwards to see what they're talking about. Let's dive. Oh, 
Oh, it's a huge brush. Oh, it's a huge Ah. <laughs> Brush off his shoulder. <laughs> Hong Jung. <laughs> Jing Bin smiling. <laughs> <laughs> Why was Hong Jun making that face? <laughs> so, the verses, a lot of rapid verses, man. I really got to look into these lyrics to see what was said because i know a lot of the things that were done performance wise were relating to the lyrics so let's look up these lyrics and then let's rewatch it <coughs> but sonically i thought it was pretty good um i will say i do think the hook is a little because it's just like repetitive it's just like morning mm -mm -mm, mm -mm -mm, mm -mm. i don't know it just seems a little Redundant. Like after you listen to this a few times, you're not gonna want to listen to that hook really <laughs> anymore. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so that right there, that can just relate to being an artist. We play with paint. We make pictures. That doesn't have to be about the unity message. So I like that because there's different ways you can look at the hook. All right, let's check out Shang Ben's verse. <laughs> So when there's a painting of the rainbow in the performance, he literally talks about there's no limit like the rainbow. Paint the track with colors, voices of excitement echo across the Korean peninsula. So fans all around Korea, they're excited. Lose your voice like you're rubbing ink with an artist's soul. Mm. Okay. My unique tone doesn't water down when it mixes with another tone. Okay. How paints can mix. He's saying like my tone, it'll stand out. Like even if you try to mix me with somebody else, like my color will stay the same. Draw an inverted rhythm. The rhythm's quite fresh and new. Picasso's self-portrait. He's like the god of art. <laughs> they, they, he says that. He's like the god of art. Like <laughs> complimenting Picasso in the middle of it. Snap your fingers covered in paint. Click, click. A click click. Grow like popcorn, pop pop. The speaker brings no dishonor to hip hop's Kim Sat Gat wearing a ball cap. Okay, now who is that? So Kim Sat Gat in a very brief, very, very brief explanation is a poet. So the speaker brings no dishonor to hip hop's Kim Sat Gat. He's calling himself a poet, I think, just relating himself to him. But I think Hip hop's Kim Sai Gat. I think he's just pointing out that he's Korean. All right, now let's catch Hong Jung's verse. Oh. <laughs> Woo. 
노래 색다가 좋아도 빡세게 놀아보지 색다가 좋아도 빡세게 놀아보지 Okay, so just look this up. Decal Kameni basically just means decal. Transferring an image to another surface. So like a stamp. So it's literally like a stamp. Symmetry with Miss Decal Kameni. So basically, in a way, he's saying we're all the same. But the way that he says Miss Decal Kameni, I think he's trying to point out that men and women are the same. And he says, we are idle, beautiful colors, paper. There's no bad colors out there, bite your lips. So he's being anti-racist right there. There's no bad colors out there. And if you think so, bite your lips. Add more to the mix, why remove, swirl and twirl. So add more colors to the mix. Like who cares what color even is? So why not just add more colors to the mix? Like what would happen if there were different colors of people out there, even more different colors of people? Like, who cares? A messy but modern mix, pop it like a Virgil. Who still matches colors these days? What's a Virgil? I just looked this up. Virgil is a Roman poet. So, another reference to a poet. So, they're rappers, references to poets. You know, makes sense. Who still matches colors these days? That's old school. It's very true. Nowadays, it's all about just blending colors together when it comes to fashion. A lot of people don't like to wear just like one color anymore or just like two colors anymore. A lot of people want to do like three colors, four colors. And when Hong Jun says, bring more colors, let's play more intensely, that gets repeated before the hook comes in. So when he says that, what I'm thinking he means is if there were more people that had different colors, like if there are more races in the world, would there be more tension in the world? So bring more colors, let's play more intensely is like, let's make more races, let's make this more tensed. Like let's make this more of a stupid, stressful world because of everybody stressing about each other's color and race. So it's like trying to bring awareness to that, like, if we were to bring in more races, we would be more tense because we're that dumb that we see colors like that. So it's just another way to say, let's be united. But also bring more colors, let's play more intensely might mean let's think more creatively, let's bring more colors in and let's paint a picture with more colors. So like I said before, you can just think of that hook as being an artist and messing with paint and creating a picture. see we always paint playing with paints we always paint people we always stereotype people by what they're painted as what their skin color is we always paint playing with paints and it's like playing with paints because it's not like we know for a fact what somebody is it's playing with that it's like it's not facts but then at the end he says paint with music so you know like i said this hook here is a double entendre come on Then chopping, Han. This man can rap fast as hell, bro. All right, so mix this and that all night. Effort and result are proportionate. That's true. Ah. The more effort you put in, mm -hmm. 
the better the result. Mix this and that. That could refer to mixing like music. We ought to be wonderful artists. So we ought to be a wonderful artist. But the most important quality is expressionism. Like Vincent van Gogh's paintings once did. We need it when we paint with colors. We see it. Look, play your work. No pain, no gain. Raise the pen. Move your head up and down. So bot and paint my colors and young blood. Yeah, I don't know what that really means. I'm Dolly. I run faster. Everyone moves to the side, rapping like I'm already there. My dream is Da Vinci. I'm feeling like an artist. The person reflecting across the mirror is a legend. <laughs> Just flexing. And he talked about two different artists here, Vincent Van Gogh and Da Vinci. So he's saying he wants to be a legendary artist like Da Vinci. But he also shouts out Vincent Van Gogh. So there's been multiple poets and artists talked about throughout throughout this entire song. And Dali is a painter as well. Oh, he had a disturbing stash. Oh, he made this? Looks familiar. I've seen this. So Honda's rapping fast and made a reference to Dali. He made this art right here, which is referring to time. So, bro, that, that whole link right there. That's crazy. That's really well thought through. So Chang Bin and Han, I gotta say, it doesn't seem like they're really talking about racism. Hong Jung was trying to say like, we're all the same. But not so much with Chang Bin and Han. Talk about different artists and they talk about art and creating. Let's go, we gotta move into Bang Chan. Spelling color with a U, cause you know we do it all for you. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, you know I like the message. You know Mike, Mike likes the message. <laughs> um, yeah, of course I love the message. Now, is it a little corny? Yeah. You know, I'm being honest with you, bro. Tiny bit corny, but not too bad. Not too bad. It could be worse. It could be a lot worse. Now that we do it over you. Yuck. <laughs> So Min Yuck's verse, I gotta say, might be my favorite verse. I mean, just his delivery and, you know, the beat change when he comes in, the pause, you're like, oh my God, what's about to happen? And Min Yuck comes in and he murders it, bro. 
a zombie who paints the poetic meter for over a decade still alive paint and repaint so he's an artist that's still alive the survival of the fittest on the drawing board so he's saying he's still alive as an artist you know it's survival of the fittest or skills incomparable to painting tools the song track is a canvas dyed with playful colors Divide everyone with colors to find and push, punish the criminal. Okay. So he's talking about how the song is like a painting. Song track is like a painting. But then he's also now talking about the world and how we divide with colors and try to punish who's the criminal based on what color. I want to mix all the vibrant colors in harmony. So he wants peace in the world, but I think at the same time, he's saying, I want to mix all the colors in my painting and make a great painting. Spray as you want and it'll become art. The whole world nods from back to back. <clears throat> so the whole world can agree that we hate races. Fuck a racist, bro. We all hate races. The home ground for mad painters. We also paint tomorrow on the canvas. We bleed the same color. So he's saying like the world is a ground for mad painters, for the racists. The races that are crazy, that paint people as a certain way based on their color. We also paint tomorrow on the canvas. We bleed the same color. You know, I paint today, I paint tomorrow, I paint every day. As an artist, I paint every day, but also at the same time, he's saying like, and we all live and breathe together on the same canvas on the canvas, the canvas of the world. Like we all have to live together. And also we all bleed the same color. So Min Yuck is talking about how he doesn't like racism either, but at the same time, he's also focusing on making a painting as an artist, just like how Han and Chang Bin were focused on. So Min Yuck's verse, is kind of like smashing the concepts of all the other verses together. You know, Han and Chang Bin, they mainly talked about being an artist and painting as an artist and they refer to different artists and stuff like that and, and creating. But Hong Jung and Bang Chan, they were focused on like anti-racism. But Min Yuk, he's talking about both. He's talking about being an artist and making a painting, but at the same time, he's talking about bringing people together. And I think that's a great way to end the song with that verse because it brought it all together. Now let's watch this one more time to see if I can pick up anything else after reading these lyrics. That's stuff. Yeah, yeah. Let go. Hey. So there, when he pours, like, what is that, milk all over his painting? That's when he says, my unique tone doesn't water down when it mixes with another tone. Got you. So that's when he mixed it with whatever he was painting. He's saying, mine doesn't water down. And as you can see, this whole thing turns the same color as the liquid he drops. <laughs> Yeah. 
이것저것 다 섞어 치네 밤샘도록 그 결과물 비례 돼야 아주머지 예술가가 내 제일 중요한 건 마치 비세 반겨우에 Yo, Han is just flowing, bro. Han has got the juice, man. I'm telling you, bro. So when you have Han here around all these portraits of everybody in the performance except for Han, this is when Han talks about Vincent Van Gogh, and Vincent Van Gogh is also well known for his self-portrait. So I think that might have to do with what Han is saying here. But also Han is just talking about art and making art in general, so these portraits of them here, you know, they make sense as well. <laughs> So I'm confused. He can say shit, but Bobby can't say bullshit. Just saying. Bobby said bullshit in that performance, but he can say shit. I don't get it. I don't get it. I thought they were going to be throwing paint at each other. <laughs> that that smile from Chang Bin is funny. <laughs> it was almost like Chang Bin smiled and then Han smiled, like Han knew Chang Bin was smiling or something. <laughs> I can appreciate it, man. There's some good bars in there. A lot of good bars, a lot of good references in there. Um, I thought the concept was pretty cool. You know, how they incorporated two things, like being an artist, but also anti-racism. You know, I like that. My problem is, I, I just feel like the hook is weak. I just, I think it's just repetitive, and I, I'm not crazy about it. But the verses, the verses were great. And the production was great. All right, let's turn this over. Let's see how everybody else reacted to this performance. If y'all want to check out our full reaction to the epic Kingdom Legendary War, you can check it out down below in the description at our Patreon. Everything that gets blocked goes to our Patreon. And also, once you check out our Patreon, you should see all of the blocked reactions right there in the tier. Make sure y'all go check that out, man. We highly appreciate any support on Patreon. We love y'all, Secret Society. And if you're new, hopefully I'll see you there too. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for critiquing with us. If you guys like this video, we appreciate you this video a like. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you guys click subscribe to become part of The Click. Thank you.
Thank you. Because we got some more Kingdom performances coming to YouTube. Whatever we can post from Kingdom, we'll post it on YouTube. But whatever we can't, it's going to go to Patreon. I also want to check out a lot of these songs that I hear on Kingdom. So stay tuned for that. You stay classy. Critic out. Sha out.